Louisville, Colorado is continually to be ranked one of the best places to live in Colorado, but a lot of times actually in the United States. It can't just be for the amazing views. However, I do find that a lot of people are moving here strictly for the views, but there's more to it, right? Today in this video, we're going to go over why Louisville, Colorado just might be the place you'll want to move. Let's get started. Hi there, Christy Lee here, and I am a local real estate agent in the state of Colorado. So if you are moving here, please reach out to me anytime. I'd love to help you. My contact information is right there. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about Louisville, Colorado, and why I personally love it, and I think you might too. So like I said, it is continually to be ranked one of the best places to live in Colorado. And why is that? Well, I will say one reason is its location. Louisville is actually located really, really close to Boulder, but also close to Denver. So we're talking only about 20 minutes or not even actually maybe 15 minutes to Boulder and then about 25 minutes to Denver. It's located right off of Highway 36 or the Boulder Turnpike, depending on what you call it. And it's so perfectly located for someone who loves the outdoors. So if you're somebody who loves to rock climb, hike, bike, or even ski for that matter, you are gonna be so close to all of these outdoor amenities. In fact, I'm sitting here in my car and there's so many people just walking around and it's actually 30 degrees outside right now. Hence why I'm not outside. It is really cold, but there's plenty of people outside right now walking around, jogging, all of that good stuff. Because we are located so close to Boulder, you have Eldora, which is going to be the closest ski resort to this location. And it's not going to be like a big one. I mean, we're not talking major mountains like maybe in Summit County, like Breckenridge or Copper Mountain, Keystone, anything like that. But Eldora is going to be a great location if you just want to get up there for the day, run a couple runs and then come back in. So Louisville, just for that reason alone, being so close to really all this outdoor activities is going to be one of the major factors on why people are moving here. Now, one thing I will say is Louisville does tend to be a little bit more expensive than some of its surrounding counterparts. Um, the main reason is, again, we are located near Boulder and people want to move here. People gravitate here because it is actually linked to one of the safest cities that was back in 2012, but it is still relevant. Um, obviously, do your own research on that, but it is still pretty relevant. You know, Louisville as a whole is pretty great when it comes to that kind of stuff. However, the price point right now, the median home price is pushing about 900000 And I will say, honestly, that is going to be for an older home, um, probably a smaller home. We're talking maybe in the 1980s pushing early 90s, um, anything newer than that or even larger than say 2,200 square feet, you're pushing over a million dollars and it's just simply based off of location. People want to be in this location. Um, so I will say that while the median home price is roughly around 900,000, that's gonna take into account a lot of the older homes, smaller homes, and as well as townhomes and condos. Anything as far as single family homes are concerned, anything larger than roughly about 2,200 square feet is going to be well over a million dollars. And also one thing I will say about this area as well is almost to date, two years ago, we had the Marshall Fire. The Marshall Fire actually hit Superior and Louisville and Louisville alone um, destroyed a about 550 homes um, right around there, just in Louisville. Now, right behind me, and I'll show you in just a second, right behind me is one of the developments that actually was destroyed as far as the homes are concerned. So they are rebuilding, um, but because of the lack of inventory in this area, that's also what's driving the price point up. Now, these new homes that are being built in these old developments that were burned down, they're absolutely gorgeous. They really, really are um, all brand new. But I will say those ones are going to be starting at roughly about $1.2, $1.3 million. And again, it's just simply based off a of location. The views that you have right here are phenomenal. Um, and then to get into these, these amazing neighborhoods is why people are moving to this area.
So Louisville as a whole is actually pretty small. So when people actually move here, it's more of that uh, suburban, dense suburban feel. So things are a little bit tighter than some of its other, again, counterparts, say like Longmont, Erie. Those are going to be a little bit more spread out for the most part. Um, the population in Louisville is roughly about 22,000 people, and it's only about eight square miles. So it is pretty small. Um, one thing that I do love about this area is that it actually started in the late 1800s as a coal mining uh, town or city. Um, what I love, though, is that Louisville still has captured or still has that coal mining feel to it, especially when you go to their main street. So downtown uh, Louisville actually still has some of the old buildings um, and it still kind of feels like you're back in the 1800s. It still kind of looks very his historical coal mining kind of feel to it. In fact, uh, the Melting Pot, which is one of the, the restaurants down there, when you go in, it really truly does still feel like you're in like an old mine. So they do keep that, that historic part or piece of Louisville in it. Speaking of the downtown area though, it is really cute. It has a lot of restaurants there. It has a lot of shopping. I believe there's about a hundred shops and restaurants in that little area. My personal pa favorite is Lulu's. If you like, uh, if you like barbecue and then Sweet Cow for your ice cream fans, Sweet Cow is amazing. Um, but during these, um, the downtown area during the summertime, they have concerts, uh, farmers markets. They're big into art, so they have a lot of art fairs down there as well. So it's just a really cool little area just to go visit, hang out. And then if you actually want to live in that area, prime real estate out there. But it's going to be a lot of the older homes. Again, think back to the late 1800s. Now, some of them aren't going to be, you know, 150 years old, but they are probably pushing 90. Um, and they're going to be a lot more expensive. Those are well into the million dollars and they are very small historical homes. So keep that in mind too. A lot of them are going to have, you know, either no garage or they will have a, some sort of detached garage, but a lot of on-street parking as well. So a lot of people reach out to me and want more information about Louisville, mainly because of its school districts and its county that it's in. So Louisville is actually located in Boulder County and its school district is Boulder Valley School District. So Boulder Valley School District, according to niche.com, has been ranked number one in the state. Now, obviously do your own research on that, but according to niche.com, it's pretty fantastic. Um, it's school K through eight is actual, it's uh, Monarch, K through eight, and then their high school is Monarch as well. So there's two separate schools, but they both are pretty much named the same. Um, again, great schools, great school districts. And then, you know, honestly, if you don't live in this area, but you do want to be part of the Boulder Valley school districts, Colorado does open, open and offer open enrolling. So as long as they have availability within their school, you're more than welcome to open enroll regardless of where you live. Um, another thing about Louisville as well is that it is actually dedicated 26% of its land to open open space and parks, which is amazing. And it has 32 miles of trails. So again, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, regardless of the time of year, you are able to utilize these particular parks, trails, open space, whatever it is at any time. Like I said, there's people out here walking right now. I guarantee you if it's snowing, I think it's supposed to snow tomorrow. They're going to be out here probably snowshoeing or something. I don't know. Anyways, that is Louisville. I personally love Louisville. I'm in Louisville all the time. Um, so I'd be more than happy to show you around. It is a phenomenal city. It's a tiny, quaint little city, but it's super cute. And it has amazing surrounding areas as well. Superior, Erie, Longmont, Westminster, Broomfield. All of those are just surrounding. So if Louisville is not the right fit, We'll check out some of the other ones around here as well. Remember to click that subscribe button right there. That way you are notified every time I have a new video. And then to the next video, take care.